Tiny toilet paper, mini Clorox wipes, and small picket signs decorate wooden nutcrackers at the Seavers family home in Watkinsville. They're arguing. A junior in high school, Madeline Seavers has always been artistic. Now, with the help of her parents, she's putting her creative skills to use for the second year in a row. Last December, Madeline and her mom, Mary Elizabeth, began to unpack their Christmas decorations when they realized they didn't have one in their collection to represent 2020. $50. Mary Elizabeth said she found some expensive versions on Etsy and showed her daughter. And Maddie looked at them and she said, I could make that. Just like that, Nutcrackers by Madeline was born. She worked with her parents to craft two different styles of nutcrackers saddled with masks and tissues. Before they knew it, they had sold 60 nutcrackers and shipped them out all over the world. While Madeline and her mom dream up the ideas together, her dad helps make it happen. Steve works on perfecting the little details with direction from his wife and daughter. These things are hard, like for example, this plastic card right here. For 2021, they have two different nutcrackers to represent people who are for and against the vaccine. For Maddie, the project is more than just being creative and selling products. It's about finding unity in such a divisive time. And I think it's nice to have something that you don't feel like you have to fight with people over that still addresses the topic. Because I think it's really important, but when you're dealing with nutcrackers, it's not necessarily important. Mary Elizabeth is a healthcare worker, so she says the issue hits close to home. I work as a hospice nurse. So I've seen the heavier side of all of this, um, but in some small way. And we don't mean to make light of it, but we do want to do something to lighten the subject if that's possible. For Steve, he says they serve as an important marker of all that these past two years have held. Just the memory of these two years and how COVID has marked them. For Grady News Source, I'm Sam Perez.